Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Gemini Scale Model Works video. Hi, I'm Vinny. This is going to be Street Machines Group Build Part 3. But before we get into the video, um, I want to thank all of my new subscribers and all my old subscribers uh, for making my channel uh, be where it's at right now. I have currently 404 subscribers. And I told you guys when I get to 500, I will be doing a giveaway. <clears throat> so, with all of that being said, in one of my previous videos, I showed you what the Chevelle color was. And this is that mica blue. If you want to see the color that I put on the Roadrunner, watch this video. Coming right up. Bye. Okay, hey guys, um, before we get started with this video, um, I want to uh, give you a little heads up. Uh, when you see this car in the video, you're going to see the paint is like really in bad shape. And I really don't know how I got all those little scratches on top there. I did not touch this car as, uh, as far as the wet sand, except that I started doing it on this side. And I'm winding up with... A whole ton of scratches in here and I've been using that scratch X to try and get them out and it's just not going away but luckily um, if you guys remember I showed you the other uh, Roadrunner body that I had that was in pretty sad shape because of the paint that I used now speaking of that paint I told you started to act with the uh, primer that I used it was a Rust-Oleum product which I do not have in this room with me right now. Um, but I tried to do that same color on just a piece of uh, white styrene. And that is the black right there. And it did not react on the, on the uh, clean white styrene. So I am assuming, and please do not hold it, this is my opinion, that it did not like to play with the uh, Mr. Surfacer primer. Uh, now that that's out of the way, um, I told you that I did buy a second kit because of the paint jobs that weren't working out for me, and I showed you how the uh, the other body looked. This is how the new the body looks now. I stripped it all the way down to the plastic and I reprimed it, and uh, this primer looks really good. Again, this is the Mr. Surfacer primer. And uh, so this is ready. Um, this was done two days ago. I'm pretty sure it's ready to accept paint now. But um, it'll get the same black paint. And then once this car is finished, I will strip this car and I will paint it in the uh, lemon twist color uh, and do that up. Um, I also mentioned that I ran a, uh, a duster, a putting it duster 340. I did order that kit last night, so I'm going to have all three of these cars in a small little diorama or a little uh, vignette, if you want to call it that. All right, that's it. Get, let's get on with the rest of the video. Bye for now. All right, guys, we're down at the workbench now, and as you can see, I had the interiors for both cars laid out. Uh, so obviously, this video is going to be about getting the interiors pretty completed. Uh, on these uh, two cars anyhow before we start that I want to show you something I have uh, while I was looking for pictures for what colors I want to do these interiors um, on the Chevelle I was wondering on my car on these little two little hood scoops here uh, the original owner had uh, some custom work on, done on those hoods so I was wondering if I can use these decals 
uh, for the hood and for the trunk deck. Well, come to be that um, as I was looking for the interior colors, I also checked out some body styles and I did find uh, a Chevelle 69 that had those hood stripes. In fact, they were quite uh, readily available on all the cars. So I will show you a picture of that and not we'll move on from there. Now I also told you guys I was going to give you a glimpse at the uh, <coughs> um, Roadrunner body. And I'm going to do that now but I want to set this up so I can put it on a turntable because I just don't want to handle it. Move that stuff out of the way right there. Okay, so for the first time you guys are going to see the color of the Roadrunner. And let me remind you that it still has not had any, let's see if I can get this to point up a bit, there we go. This is still gassing out, uh oh, I see something up there, looks like a hair, son of a gun, anyhow it's still gassing out, let me put the other camera on. But what I used on this was the MCW uh, black glossy black with a 50/50 mixture, and I think that looks pretty good so far. Um, so we just add it away, and now we'll get crack a lacking on the interiors. Looking at pictures. Um, my car had a black interior but because this car is kind of like on the darker side i want to brighten it up a bit so the interior on this car on the chevelle is going to be 100 percent pure white and i'll show you some pictures um, on how that interior is going to look uh, on a one-to-one -one car that i have uh, found okay so the next thing we're going to do is the color for the Roadrunner. Um, the original box art on this car was, was that taxi cab yellow. Sorry about that Mopar guys. Um, but I did a little more research and again I'm going to show you a picture of the color I chose to do the interior for the Roadrunner. And that's going to be this Chrysler Blue. And again I will show you a picture of it um, what it's going to look like. So stay tuned and we will be back in a moment. Okay boys and girls we are back down at the bench and let me show you the progress I've made on the Roadrunner and the Chevelle. Originally I was going to paint the interior of the Roadrunner in this blue. It's a nice color blue, but I just didn't like the way it was playing around with the black. So, um, I also, since I was not going to use this, I started doing a little practice on uh, using a, a paint pen to do some of the trim work. And I don't know if you guys can actually see that, uh, but I did do the window cranks just to practice on it. Anyhow... I am glad that I still had the other kit because I was able to rebuild the entire uh, interior with the other kit builds. Now this car here has not been polished out uh, or, or wet sanded or anything like that. I do notice that the only decal that comes for the hood is black so I can't use that. I might have to paint it. Anyhow, let me give you a little closer look at the interior. I think that's a real nice color. It's going to go nice with the black. And I'll show you what color that is here. That is this pearl light blue uh, Tamiya product. I thought I'd do a little cheating on this by using rattle cans just to see how it works out. And so far, this looks pretty good. Um, i got to do all the dials and gauges and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to do the uh, trim work, but I'm not going to use paint. I'm going to use something else instead of paint to do all the trim work inside the interior. <clears throat> well, let me put it this way. What I have to paint, I'll paint, but I am not going to use paint on everything. So, that you'll see that probably in the next video. 
Um, you can see it's sitting on a chassis, and the color works really nice with the black. So, for that, we will move this aside, and I will show you uh, what the Chevelle looks like. Of course, you know the color of the Chevelle. So, I told you I was going to do the interior in white. And as you can see, the interior is white. And again, um, I've got uh, decals and stuff to put on the um, dashboard. Uh, everything is just mocked up right now. But uh, what I used on the Chevelle interior was, uh, again, another rattle can, Tamiya, and it is TS27 Matte White. Now, I might go over this with the pearl white. Um, I think that might look good. Um, again, um, I can get 1970 Chevelle decals, but they are not correct. So... As I am going to do on the Roadrunner, I'm going to do the same thing on this. I am going to actually paint the uh, white on here. Because that's all my car had. It did not have anything in the back. Uh, just the white work, the white paint work on the two scoops. Also, when I bought the car, back here on the quarter panel, as big as the quarter panel was, it had the word Chevy on there, italicized. Uh, I took that off because I knew that I would get in trouble with the police. <laughs> Uh, if I kept it on there, my car would be easily identifiable, so I took it off. I really compounded, I had to compound the, uh, the paint, because it was painted on. Now, I told you guys, um, the reason why I'm building this Roadrunner is because I had a race with him uh, back in the day when I was young and dumb um, with my Chevelle. And the reason I ran this guy is because two weeks prior to racing this guy, I ran a Plymouth Duster, a 340 Duster. And I, I, I won that race. So to get back at me, his friends, these guys, uh, challenged me to a race. And I said, okay, because you know, when I went, I built my car to have fun and race with. So I accepted the challenge, and uh, like I told you guys earlier, that I got my doors blown off. 11-second <laughs> car. Anyhow, um, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, I hope you guys and guys enjoyed it. I'm trying to keep them short. Uh, next thing uh, we're probably going to do is start detailing out the engines, uh, spark plug wires and whatever else, uh, maybe heater hoses and so on and so forth. Anyhow, with all that being said, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video. And as always, your questions, comments, inputs, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. Gemini Scale Model Works, out for now. Bye!